Hello, welcome to Delicious Nook. This is Ka. Today I will be making a low carb red curry noodle soup, also known as kapun. If you're looking for a healthier option, this might be the right alternative for you. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. The ingredients you need for the soup broth are 6 cups of water 1 and 1 half tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder 1 stalk of lemongrass About a piece and a half of dry galanga 1 teaspoon of salt and 1 half teaspoon of black pepper and 15 ounces of quail eggs. For the curry sauce, you need 2 tablespoons of red curry paste. I'm using the Maploy brand due to no sugar in the ingredients. 16 ounce or 2 cups of coconut milk. 1 cup of bamboo tips. 1 cup of bamboo shoots in chili oil. 3 cloves of garlic minced, 1 half cup of onions or shallots minced. The rest of the ingredients for the curry sauce are 2 tablespoons of avocado oil, 4 tablespoons of fish sauce, 1 half tablespoon of shrimp paste, 1 and 1 half tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener, one and one half pounds of ground pork or your choice of protein and four kaffir lime leaves. For the noodles, you need one pound of kelp noodles, one fourth cup of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of baking soda. To soften the kelp noodle in a separate large bowl, Mix in the lemon juice and the baking soda and mix together for about 30 seconds or so. Now you can transfer the noodles into the lemon juice mixtures and massage the noodles in the mixture until the noodles have softened. Continue to massage the noodles for 30 to 40 more seconds. Now this is the texture you're looking for. The noodle should be very soft to the touch. Rinse the noodles under warm water. Now pour the noodles into the strainer, pour the noodles back into the bowl, and repeat the process a couple more times. Now let's get back to the soup broth. Place all soup broth ingredients except for the quail eggs and turn the stove temperature to medium low to simmer the broth. So add your lemongrass, your galanga, your chicken bouillon powder, and your salt and pepper. For the curry sauce, in a deep, large saute pan, heat the avocado oil on medium heat. Add your garlic. Add 
add your shallots and continue to stir until slightly golden brown. Once your garlic and shallots are golden brown, add your curry paste. And give it a good stir. Then add your shrimp paste. And continue to stir. Once the curry paste and the shrimp paste has been fried and dried a bit, pour in about half a cup of coconut milk and give it a good stir. Mix it well. Continue cooking the curry sauce until the sauce has thickened and the color has turned bright red. Now add in the bamboo and chili oil and give it a good mix. Add in the bamboo tips. Continue cooking the bamboo shoots in the curry sauce for a couple minutes. Add in your monk fruit sweetener which is a substitute for sugar. Add your kaffir lime leaves and continue to stir. After about three to four minutes, add in your ground pork. Give it a good mix and continue to cook the pork. Now add in the fish sauce. And stir the pork. until the pork is fully cooked. Once the pork is fully cooked, add the remainder of the coconut milk to the pork and curry sauce and mix well. Continue to cook the curry sauce until everything is well incorporated. Once everything is well incorporated, Remove from the heat. Return the soup broth to the stove top. And at this point, you want to add in the curry sauce mixture into the soup broth. Give it a good mix and add your quail eggs into the soup broth. Continue to cook the curry soup and at this time taste for seasoning. Let the curry soup come to a boil and cook for another 5 minutes. Then remove from the heat. It is time to prep the garnishes or toppings. Here I have some green onions, cilantro, cilantro or salt tooth coriander, a lime, 
some Vietnamese coriander, mint, bean sprouts, and some cabbage. To assemble the curry soup, grab about one to two handfuls of kelp noodles into a bowl. Ladle the curry broth into the noodle bowl. I hope you give this recipe a try, and if you do, please comment below. I will include the written recipe and directions down in the description box below. I will also include some links on where to find some of the unique ingredients. Garnish with your favorite topping, and enjoy! Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!